For my next trick, I want to show you the world's simplest and easiest card trick that gets incredible reactions. Here is the performance. Please go ahead and touch any card you wish. I promise I won't look. Once you have remembered your card, I need you to place it inside the sense of the pack so we can bury it in the middle of the pack like so. At this point I'm just going to give the card some quick shuffles and maybe one single cut and we're ready to find your card. I'm going to find your card by just spreading the pack, okay, and I'm going to try to feel the location of your card. Remember, this is one of the oldest tricks in magic. And I believe that your card was the seven of spades. Here is the explanation for this effect. This is really one of the oldest tricks in magic and it uses the key card principle. This means when the Spectre picks a card, you really don't see which cards the Spectre picked. For explanation purposes, I will just leave it revealed here on the table. However, as the Spectre is looking at their card, you are going to remember the bottom card from the pack. Okay, so as you are looking, just tilt the deck a little so you can see that the bottom card is the Queen of Spades. And you just have to remember the Queen of Spades. At this point, you cut a half of the card on the table and ask the Spectre to place his card on top. Then you take the remaining cards and place them on top too. Notice that your key card, the Queen of Spades, goes on top of their selection. This means when you spread the pack, the card above the Queen of Spades right here is the Queen of Spades and the card above it will be their selection, in this case the Nine of Diamonds. However, instead of revealing it immediately after you have placed the deck together, you are gonna give the deck some seemingly shuffles. And the shuffles you are allowed to do is this, giving the pack a cut, okay? The cut will not disturb your trick. However, if you want to go a little more advanced, you can do some full shuffles. That was a quite bad full shuffle, let me do it again. Like so, giving the illusion that you shuffle the card. If you can't do that, you can just give the card some cuts, or instead of giving the, cu uh, the pack a cut this way, you can cut the pack this way. What I'm doing is this, I'm just taking the cards from the bottom, around the half of the cards, and drop them to the top, and I continue this cutting sequence fluently, giving this pack to the illusion of shuffling the card. However, I'm just doing this in a different way. However, once you have done that, you're gonna say, let me spread the pack and I hope to find your card. At this point, you're looking for your Queen of Spades, right here, and you know the card above it, the Nine of Diamonds in this case, is their selection. Now, of course, you don't want to go inside the pack and say, okay, that's your selection, here you go. Don't do that. At this point, you have to act a little bit. Of course, it uh, depends on your style of uh, performing. You can do like my performance where you say, I'm gonna try to feel your card. And then say, okay, it might be here. I believe it is a nine of diamonds and take it out. You can do, of course, come up with your own performance styles. Uh, another thing would be to ask this pack to, to give you their hand and you can just feel their pulse and say, okay, it beats quicker here, that means your card has to be the Nine of Diamonds and reveal it that way. It is really one of the simplest and easiest effects in card magic that you can perform really immediately after you've watched this video. And that's basically it. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did so, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and comment in the comment section below. And that's it. I'll see you next time.